Hey there, Tiffany Mikey here, the lady golf teacher. Welcome to today's tip. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but the question I have for you right now is do you do a practice swing before you play your shot when you're out there playing comp? Because that's what we're going to look at, okay? All right, I'll see you in a second. Hey there, welcome to today's tip. It's Tiffany Micah here for the Lady Golf Teacher, so welcome. What I want to share with you today is why you should have a practice swing when you're out playing competition, okay? I have a discussion with um, <clears throat> people that I teach all the time about uh, they don't see the importance of practice swing. Some do, some don't. Um, and the reason that you want to make sure that you do have a practice swing is purely because you want to make sure that the swing that you are going to produce is the swing that you're going to produce with the ball. I'll show you what I mean. So when you, when you get set to hit a ball, what you actually want to do is <clears throat> you want to create a nice easy rhythm because really it's not about how fast you go to hit a ball that's going to make it go anywhere. It's actually what great rhythm, you know, a, is the club touching the grass through the shot? Is the ball coming up onto the club face? There's a lot of elements, you know, is your swing working? You know, there's so many different elements that happen in a, in a swing to, to produce it. But the thing that I wanted to, you to get very clear is that, yes, you do need a practice swing for your shot. Now, the reason for that is is because you want to create rhythm like what I've said before right so we want to have a nice easy rhythm now if you're practicing your practice swing and it's really fast like that all right and then you get set and you hit the ball and it just shoots along or you might top it and you go oh my god this didn't work why isn't it working that's the reason because you're too quick okay you don't have any rhythm so what you want to make sure that you're doing is you want to create the swing that you want when you stand over the ball and the only way that you can do that is if you do a nice easy practice swing you work on creating a nice smooth rhythm okay really nice easy rhythm <coughs> excuse me then you get set for the ball nice easy smooth rhythm what happens then the ball works <coughs> excuse me I've got a bit of a cold okay that is why you need a practice swing. So if you have not got a practice swing happening in your uh, game right now, I suggest that you start implementing one because the practice swing is going to be the swing that you want to be able to use when you're standing over the ball ready to hit the ball, okay? I hope you enjoyed today's tip. I'd love it if you'd leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an absolutely awesome day and nice to see you. Enjoy the tip and let me know how you go. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.